everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on the YouTube channel and this time out, we're taking a look at a yet another great plugin. This is gonna be a fun one from, uh, this is the N Fuse from Kive Audio. This is a killer plugin, man. You're really gonna dig this thing. Um, this thing is uh, made really for the two bus or drum bus and that's what we're gonna listen to it on. This is kind of a combination of the Neve Master Bus Transformer and at the click of a button, the SSL Fusion. So we're gonna take a listen to this on a master bus. We're gonna take a listen to this on a drum bus. We're gonna walk through the controls and uh, we're gonna see how it kind of stacks up. So before we get started, make sure you like, share and subscribe. And also if this is your first time here, go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. I wanna give you a free mixing course. It's right on the homepage, it's worth a hundred bucks. It's my gift to you just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you something else for free. So full disclosure, Kive Audio was really kind to send me a bunch of their plugins and you've already seen some on the channel. Um, and if you haven't seen all of them yet, check the archive and also there'll be more coming in the future. We're doing like six or seven of their plugins. They've already sent me a bunch of them. They sent them to me for free so I could bring this series of videos to you, but they don't pay me for the video. Um, but the other thing that they're doing, my payment really is to help you because they've also given me two or two additional licenses for every one of the plugins that I've done a video for so I could give them away as part of our monthly mixing contest over at mixingmadeeasy.net. Now, if you don't know what mixingmadeeasy.net is, click the link in the description box. It's my mixing, my monthly mixing membership website. Say that three times fast. And every month we have a mixing contest. And every single month I give away a free plugin by top manufacturers. And we're gonna be giving away two of these this year, as well as some of their other plugins. So if you wanna check them out, go check out mixingmadeeasy.net. So thank you very much, Kive Audio, I really appreciate it. So here we are, let's start with this thing. So basically what I've done is I have a session that we've been working on uh, for the last two or three videos with Kive Audio um, uh, plugins. And we use their, uh, I use their SSL channel strip, the quick strip, uh, to do a quick little balance and a quick little mix. We did that video before. This is on the master bus. Let's walk through the controls here. So we're gonna start with the Neve side. This is an emulation of the Neve master bus transformer. Really, really cool. So if we start over here on the left, we have our input here. We have high pass filter here, okay? We have the saturation circuit, which this is the, this is the money maker right here, man where we have the dark and the red circuit, the silk circuit of the Neve 542 Portico tape emulators, as well as the hardware version of this thing. And this thing really sounds cool. This is the blue circuit. This is the red circuit. And then we have the ZRN drive that we can pop in and out. We could turn this on and off here. We also have their uh, shelving EQ here, high and uh, low frequencies. We have a compressor here as well. We have a threshold. We have a release time, gain reduction meter, side chain high pass filter, a wet dry not blend, um, this high ratio and low ratio. And again, I, I should have read the manual to know what the ratio settings are. I don't remember what they are, but I think they're very small, like two to one, 1 1.5 to one. And then we also have a makeup gain here in the center. Okay. Click that, it'll go. And we could turn them on in and off here. Then we have a stereo imager, which is really cool with, and then a high pass uh, filter here. So we can, um, if we wanted to say, uh, roll off the, the lows here. So only the, anything above a certain frequency is what gets spread out wide. That's what this is for. And again, you can turn that on and off. We have our output level and our output level meter, as well as our power button here and here. Across the top, we have some presets. We could turn on oversampling if we like. And we can also uh, change the signal flow here. We can go from EQ to dynamics and dynamics to saturation, or you can click these little arrows and you can change the order in which the signal passes through the units. Uh, we have LM and an RS mode here, left, right uh, here, which you can look at it this way. Um, if you wanted to do it separately, we have stereo, mid side and mono here. If you wanted to do that, you can link the left and the rights here. Um, and what else? We have a little cogwheel over here where you can change the size of the GUI, which I have it set to 100%. So this is at its default setting. I dropped this on the master bus here. Let's, let's do a quick little listen to what we have. And all I'm gonna do is just switch it from the Neve to the Fusion, and we'll walk to the Fusion settings in a second and listen to the difference between these two things. Here we go. Without changing anything, just dropping it on on its default setting. So 
So right away, what I hear is, in case you can't hear it over YouTube, the Neve has way more heft, way more bottom end than the, um, than the Fusion side of it. Totally different sound without even changing anything, which is really cool. So let's start on the master bus here. Let's just start with the Neve. Let's dial something in that sounds good and let's turn it on and off. Here we go. Love the saturation on this thing, just like the hardware. I have the Neve 542 Porticos. I love the red circuit. This is cool, because on the Neve 542s, the hardware, you can do red, blue, or off. It's a choice. Here, you can blend them together. On the Master Bus Transformer, I believe, the hardware, you can blend them together, and a lot of people like that. And I gotta say, I'm kinda digging, I'm kinda digging it myself. Very musical EQ, nice and broad, just just like a like a, you know, uh, just like a shelving EQ. Sounds really good. Let's do a little bit of compression here. Let's see what we got here. Let's do use our sidechain filter. So compressor is pretty cool on the high ratio setting. It's probably like more like a four to one. I gotta read the manual. Sorry about that. You can check the manual yourself. But my guess is the low ratio is gonna be something like a one and a half to a two to one ratio. So you're gonna have um, high, high ratios, you're gonna have uh, more compression. <laughs> Very cool. I've never tried the hardware of this unit. I've had so many people ask me on the other YouTube channel, Mixing Music Analog, Mixing Music Analog, the YouTube channel. Link will be in the description box. If you're into hardware, go check that channel out. Anyway, I've had the I've had the Fusion, the hardware, and it's great. A lot of people ask me about getting this hardware, and I, I really don't need it. <laughs> but listen to this plugin. If the hardware sounds as good as the plugin or better, I don't know. This thing sounds great.
can get the wet dry knobs. So you can blend the compression, which is cool. I don't think that's on the hardware. I have to look, I'm not sure, but that's a really cool feature. Dig this a lot, man. Now, what's cool about this plugin, if you haven't already figured it out, is yeah, you can use the Neve or you can switch over to the Fusion. And the Fusion, you can have its own independent settings and bounce back and forth. But what makes this even really cooler than that is you can switch out any one of the modules and kind of make your own custom Frankenstein of the Neve and the, of the SSL just by doing this, right? So if you wanted to do that, it's cool. So you could put like, you know, the Neve on your master bus and then maybe put the Fusion on your on your drum bus or something. Um, or you can put them on individual tracks and you can you can customize it. So that's the that's the Neve portion of this thing. Badass man. Let's bypass this. Let's just go to drums. I want to I want to put this on the drum bus. Okay, let's turn this up a little bit here. Let me just give a little bit more juice into the bus here. Okay, now let's let's play with the Fusion side of this thing. So let's go over to the Fusion. And now I've had the Fusion, I've had the hardware, I have the SSL native plugins. Let me tell you if this thing sounds like that. It probably does, but the Neve one sounds great. Let's push this thing in there. Okay, so the saturation on the Fusion is way more subtle than on the Neve. And that's the way the hardware is too. One of the things I didn't like about the Fusion when I was only using that on my master bus, for me personally, is I wish the, the drive was a little bit more aggressive. It was a little too tame for my liking, but it sounded really cool. This represents that quite well. Where on the Neve, you jack up that blue or red circuit, man, and it gets aggressive pretty quickly. This one doesn't, but it still sounds great. Cool. Oops, got a lot of low end in this thing. Let me turn on these kicks a little. Okay, now we have the high frequency compressor, which could, or, or we have a compressor here, which is uh, more than a high frequency compressor, which is what's on the Fusion, which is cool. And we have some ratio settings here. So let's go two to one, 10 millisecond. That's kind of standard for us. We'll do an auto release here. So this is a little bit different than what's on the Fusion itself, which I like. Cool. Yeah, even the stereo imager has that very same thing like the Fusion. So th this sounds a lot like the Fusion. It does. I mean, it's a good emulation. Um, if you want me to compare it to the native SSL ones, leave some comments below. We can compare those at one point because I have them. They're probably really darn close because the SSL ones are great too. But what I like about this is this, how you have a little bit more flexibility in the compressor, which on the hardware 
and the SSL native plugin, it's just a high frequency compressor. So that's really cool. Okay, and if you go back to the Neve, well, all, oh, I, well, the Neve was on the master bus. Uh, so now let's say if we wanted to dial in the Neve and just switch back and forth between these two, I think we can do that. Let's dial in the drums on the Neve. Let's push that a little, push that a little. Pretty cool. Okay, now we got that. Let's switch between, now I think the settings should stay the same that we had them, right? I think so. Oh no, are they the same set now? The, are the dials the same? No, I don't think they are. Let me take a look at the EQ here for a minute. Just curious to see. You would think they're completely independent, right? I don't know, maybe they're not. Let me see, if I turn this one down, what happens here? No, it stays the same. Okay, I thought it did. I'm just keeping right around the same settings. Okay, so let's switch back and forth between the Neve and, and the Fusion here. Okay, so that's louder. Let's turn that down a little. See, I, I, uh, that's really cool, man. Again, click the link in the description box and go check this out. Again, I'm, I'm not affiliated with them and it doesn't matter. Again, they didn't pay me for the video, but they're giving away us some plugins. This is cool. And I gotta say, I, I love that you can switch between the two, two totally different sounds that are both very usable. And again, I know this sounds just like the hardware to me. I don't know if this one does because I don't have the hardware, but man, this plugin may get me to go buy the hardware because I dig this thing a lot. It's just got that aggressive Neve thing, which is so cool, which is so cool. Again, I love the Neve 542s. And that, and that, and that really is just the saturation tape emulation. Man, this is really cool. This is a cool plugin, man. I dig this one a lot. I like all their plugins. You know, a couple of them are, yeah, you can take it or leave it. The quick strip, the channel strip is really cool. You know, the other ones we looked at, they have the free uh, pull tech plugin, which we've done. That's really cool, you know, but this is, this is ultra cool. This is ultra cool. The fact that you can flip, you have a fusion and a Neve all in one and you can mix and match the different modules if you want. That's really, really interesting. I like that. Great job, Kive Audio. This was a fun one. I like this one a lot. Definitely go check it out. Click the link in the description box below. And again, if you want to see me compare the actual SSL native plugins, the Fusion plugins to this, I will leave comments below. I need to get at least 10 comments telling me you want me to do that and I'll do it. Um, I don't have the hardware of this, uh, but we can compare this to some other stuff as, as well. Let me know what you want to do in the comments. So anyway, thanks so much for taking a look at the NFuse by Kive Audio. Really do appreciate it. Now, as I said at the beginning, first things first, if you want to win this plugin or any of the other Kive Audio plugins or plugins by FabFilter, Slate Digital, IK Multimedia, Kit Plugins, and many others, check out MixingMadeEasy.net. Because if you go to the MixingMadeEasy.net website and you become part of our family and our mixing membership website, we're giving away plugins every single month. Monthly mixing contests, you get critiques every month. It's really, really cool. Go check out MixingMadeEasy.net. Link will be in the description box below. For the rest of you, go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com, get that free mixing course right on the homepage. Take that course. If you dig my style of teaching and you want to take one of my other full 
featured training courses. I want to give you a 25% discount coupon code. That coupon code is YouTube25. You put that in at checkout, it will take 25% off anything on the website. So until the next video where we take a look at some more Kive Audio plugins, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and MixingMadeEasy.net. I'll see you guys in the next video.